Hi guys, it's me Malcolm, the movie wizard of Oz himself, and I'm here to discuss my review in honor of this honor of the upcoming movie that I'm gonna see tomorrow, Snake Eyes. I'm here to discuss my review of the sequel, sequel that came out four years after its predecessor. G.I. Joe Retaliation. Now this takes now, this is the movie that, well, you all know that Chatting Tatum didn't live long, long, due to that he hates the movies, movies, which is the reason why his character was, you know, which sucks, because I really didn't like him in this movie, like him in the G.I. Joe movies. He was so perfect as Duke Hauser. But on uh, the bright side, at least we get to see see the new characters we have here. We got Dwayne Johnson, the Rock himself, as Roadblock. And his and his two team members, members DJ Cut DJ Cut Rona. You all might know him as as Seth. Seth Gecko from From Dust Till Dawn, Dawn the TV series. And and the D and the DCEU as as the Shazam version of Pedro. Awesome, and we also got Adri Adriana Pelecki, Pelecki who plays Lady J. <laughs> oh, she is, she was smoking hot, babe. But, I'm, but I was disappointed that we don't have the characters from the previous movie, like. Scarlet Breaker, Breaker, Heavy Duty, and not even Ripcord. I mean, what the hell? God, I, I can see why this movie did not succeed. But we also got some new, also got a new ninja. And into the mix, we got got El Elo, Eloti Young. You all might know her as Electra from from Netflix Daredevil. Apple, <laughs> who plays Jinx, the cousin of of Storm Shadow. Boy, I didn't know he had a cousin. You know, I, you know, I saw, saw the show G.I. Joe Renegades, and I can see why there's a connection, why, why Jinx is his cousin. So, so, as I was say, this takes place after the Joe, after most of the Joes at the Indus Valley were all wiped out by, by a new threat, but, Something was a mess. Turns out the president isn't really the president. Turns out, if you all saw the first movie, turns out the president is really Sartan, the master of disguise. Whoa. It was crazy. And we even got a new villain, villain that is part of the, co the Cobra, part of Cobra, Named Firefly, played by Ray Stevenson. You might know him as, as, wait, oh, Volstag from the MCU. I'm not here for your entertainment. You don't really want to mess with me. One of the Warriors Three. I really liked him in the MCU. 
But I kind of despise the villain. He, it's the accent. I don't know if it's his native Aussie accent or a southern accent, but it was kind of confusing. It really made me cringe. In fact, I do find the movie quite enjoyable and disappointing, though. Disappointing, disappointing how they killed off one of the best characters of G.I. Joe, and we didn't get to see see the old ones from the previous movie. How the how the action was half baked. And, well, I guess that's it. But for the enjoyable moments, I do love the part where Snake Eyes and Jinx, Jinx captured Storm Shadow, Shadow over at those snowy mountains and had to fight, fight other red ninjas. So badass. It was awesome. And I really... Did love the final battle, battle how they finally saved saved the president, even though Co- Cobert to, Cobert Commander escaped, which sucks. <sighs> I was so looking forward to the sequel, but shockingly, we it's been like eight years since we had no sequel of of that movie. But on the bright side, at least we get to see an Origins movie. That's not bad. I'm gonna love you. Until you hate me. Okay, you guys. So, for my score for G.I. Joe Retaliation, I do believe I give it a six, a six and a half. Yeah, definitely a six and a half. Okay, guys, I guess that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy, and have a great summer. I'm so fancy.